Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about Learning objective, add decimals. So we're done discussing about the operations of real numbers. So with regards to fractions, now we will be discussing about decimals. Consider this problem. One weekend, Roberto worked few hours of overtime. He earned 43 pesos and 50 centavos on Saturday and 72 pesos 50 centavos on Sunday. How much did Roberto earn that weekend? So, therefore, the operation involved in this problem is addition. To solve the problem, stay focused and go with me as we explore the new lesson that we will be discussing today. Our lesson is all about addition of decimals. Here are the steps to follow in adding decimals. First, Align the given decimals according to their corresponding place values. I know you are familiar with place values. So, ones, tenths, hundreds, thousands, etc. So, kailangan daw ay magkakatapat siya. Okay? It should be according to their corresponding place values. Two, add the decimal numbers just like whole numbers. Take note, affix the decimal point. So, let's have an example. Add 2.5 and 3.14. So, we can write it as 2.5 plus 3.14. So, mababasin, magkatapat yung uh, decimal point at yung katapat ni 5 ay si 1 si since it is tenths. Okay? Then, pwede tayo mag-add ng 0 para meron siyang kasama. And then, mag-start tayong pag-a-add right to left. So, 0 plus 4 is 4. 5 plus 1 is 6. Then, you have here the decimal point. Then, 2 plus 3 is 5. So, therefore, the sum is 5.64. So, let's have another example. Add 15.84 and 3.81. So, we can write it as 15.84 and 3.81. Again, kailangan i-observe natin yung alignment according sa place of values. And then, pwede na tayo mag-add from right to left. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. Then, 8 plus 8 is 16. So, carry 1. Then, 5 plus 3 is 8. Plus yung carry 1 na 1. So, that is 9. And then, bring down 1. So, therefore, our answer is 19.65. So, let's have our third example. So, I hope na nasusundan nyo yung ating step. So, add 105.94 and 88.131. So, you have 105.94 and 88.131. So, pwede ulit tayo mag-add ng 0 dun sa dulo para may katapat yung 1. Okay. So, let's start adding. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. 4 plus 3 is 7. Then 9 plus 1 is 10. So 0, carry 1. Then you have here your decimal point. Then 5 plus 8 is 13 plus 1. Yung carry 1 is 14. Carry 1. Then 1 plus 8 is 9. Then bring down 1. So therefore, our answer is 194.071. So, ganun lang po kung paano mag-add ng decimal. So, tatandaan nyo lang na kailangan magkaka-align siya depende sa kanyang according to its place values. So, going back to our problem, so how are, how are we going to solve it? So, for our solution, we just add 43 pesos and 50 centavos and 72 pesos and 50 centavos. 
So, mag-start tayo sa right to left. So, 0 plus 0 is 0. Then, 5 plus 5 is 10. So, carry 1. Then, 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. Then, 4 plus 7, you have 11. So, you have 116. Thus, Roberta have earned a total of 116 pesos. So, I hope that you learned something today about addition of decimal. So, it's your time to get your pen and paper and do our activity for today. So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.